In this short tutorial, I will guide you through the process of creating an accessible form inside of a web page using Dreamweaver CC. First, let's create an assignment 10 folder. And inside of that assignment, create a new HTML5 document. I'm going to use the split mode. Since our form will not be that wide, we should be able to see what's going on on both sides. Just going to minimize my files folder here. Give me a little bit more space. We've been using the structure palette up here to put in divisions and headers, etc. For this, we will be using the form part. You'll see that we have plenty of options. We will only be using a few of them. This is going to be a very basic form. And, uh, and although we will not have a live action to go along with it, you can uh, do that by uh, finding a PHP script that will do that for you. First thing I want to do is find the form button so that we can insert a form. Dreamweaver will then show us a red dotted box on the side. This is where the form actually will reside. It's already selected. In the properties, I can give it a name. This one I will call info form. Like I said, we don't necessarily have an action for it, but this is where we would put in the address for the script. We haven't added any classes or IDs, so we'll just leave it as it is for now. Inside of the form, I'm clicking inside the red dotted box. I'm going to add a field set, which will allow us to keep the information that we'll be uh, working with today together. This field set, let's give it a legend of personal information. This basically is just the sign that will be posted on top of the field set. For the most part, everything that we will be inputting in this form will be inside of the field set. So I'm going to the uh, code side, pressing enter a couple of times, and just to give me a little bit of space to work with. I'll go ahead and save this. I'll just call it uh, my form.html inside of my assignment 10. Save it. First, I want to add a label to this form. It's the last icon on the right. The source code shows me the label tab has been opened. Inside of that, I'll add the text that I want the label to say. In this case, it will be first name. I'll use the colon after that. I'll put focus on the uh, design part so that I can see the first name itself. And that way I can also see the properties below. All the label does is just that, it puts a label on the form. What will follow this label will be a box where the first name can actually be input. Our text box is over on the right. Click on that. And you will only see an open tag. There's not a close tag for input. Input tag equals text. This is just a text box. So that when I go to the right side and click, I can select the box and get the properties for it below. I can then give it a name. This will be first name. I can give it a maximum length of, let's say you don't want to process names longer than 15 letters, but you do want to make this uh, box a little bit longer. I will give it a value of say 25. If you want to give the user a little bit more information about that box, HTML5 has a placeholder where we can type in the text with instructions. Type your first name here. Press enter. We won't see that text here for a little bit, not until we actually go live with this form. But don't worry about it. The code tells us that there is a placeholder in place. I'll press enter and let's follow this information with the second name. I'll first add a label that will say last name rather, colon. And following that label, I'll press return and I will insert a text box. This text box I can find on the right side by clicking, and there it is. The last name, I can give it the name, last name. And just like the other one, give it a size of 25 and a maximum length of 15. In the placeholder, I will give the instructions, type your last name here. 
I really don't want to have the first name and last name boxes side by side. One thing that I can do is return to the structure menu for a little bit. I'm going to select the code for the first label from label all the way to the end of the input code and tell it to add a division in between. I'll just say wrap around the selection. I'm not going to need any classes or IDs. So I'll click OK. The division is added. Let's do the same thing for the second label and uh, and input holder. Click on division. No class, no ID. And after this division, I can keep on coding. Since we really should be using the divisions, I will just start by adding one here just div with the dummy text inserted that I can just delete and give myself some space to work a couple of lines I'll go back into my form menu and here I want to ask for the email I'll put in a label and type in the word email colon and I'll follow this with a text box I'll check on design, there's my text box, I'll select it and give the name email and I'll follow the same values with a size of 25 and a maximum length of 15. My placeholder will say type your email here, I'll press enter. Following this division, I will insert yet another division and structure. I could also just type div and close it. Go back to the form and delete that text. I'll press enter, give myself some space. And here I will add a comments box. I'm going to give it the label comments. And after the label, I will insert a text area which is very much like a text box except this will give us the opportunity to have a bigger zone to add text to. I will select the box, give it a name, comments, and I'll tell it to give me five rows of text. In placeholder, I can type, type your comments here. This, this completes just a very basic form. I'm going to find where the field set ends press return and I'm going to insert a couple of buttons. The first one will be the submit button. This would actually activate the action if we had one. And following the submit button, I will add a reset button, which is right next to it on this tab. So what that looks like, I got submit and reset. I'm going to publish this just so that I can start to take a look at it. What? yes to all etc this would be a good time to go into the index page and add a link to assignment 10 highlight and find my link it's my form.html click ok and i will publish this as well that done I can close it and uh, see what's going on with that form here's my assignment 10 press return and like I said this is still a very basic form and we can give it a little bit of formatting you can see that the placeholders that we use are actually grayed out so that when you click in the box any text that the user types in will replace that type your first name here for example you can tab same thing for the other boxes I'll click submit, although I know this that nothing will happen. And go back to Dreamweaver to give this some formatting. First, I will add a source for my CSS. I will create a new CSS file. I'll call it styles.css. And in my code, I want to find the uh, form that I've created, my info form and from styles.css add a new selector info form 
I'll give it a padding all around of 10 pixels. Click on the universal, click 10px. I'm going to change the type display, then I'll change the font family to Verdana. You can change it to any font that you like or you have accessible. I'm going to change the background color to a grayish, maybe in the blue family. It's kind of a light gray there. Press return. I'll change the width of the form to 400 pixels. So now it fits on this side. And I will add a border, which I will make black. Keep it black there. Press return. I will make the width of the border 3 pixels. And change the style to maybe a double. Okay, so this is taking a little bit of shape now. That affects the whole form. I'm going to go back into the code and find my field set. The field set starts. I will add a new selector. It's a field set inside of the info form. I'll press enter to accept. We won't see some of the changes that I'm about to make until I publish the site. But I can get started by adding a margin on top of 10 and one on the right of 10 as well. This will just move that legend up to the side a little bit. Coming back to the top of the form, I am going to find the legend that says personal information. I will give it a margin on top of 10 and a margin of 10 also on the right. Coming back to the top of the form, I will find the legend tag. That's this personal information up here. I'm going to put it in a box by adding a new selector. Info form field set legend. Press return to accept. I'm going to give this a margin of 10 on top. 10 on the right. I'll change the background color to something else, something lighter. I'll pick a yellow. I'll give it a border of one pixel. I'll change the font size also to 140% of what it's at right now. Change the font size to 140%. And you know what, I should really do the margin 10 pixels all around, so I'll just come back and change that to 10 pixels all around. I will also add some padding. Just give it a little bit of space on the top, two pixels, and on the right, five pixels. I'll come back to see what's going on. It really doesn't have much shape, but I will publish this and see what it looks like on the page itself. So now our form is beginning to take shape. I see that the box for personal information is not quite set. Let me return to Dreamweaver and in my styles find the uh, legend. See what's wrong with that border. Although I gave it a width, I did not give it a style. Border style should be solid. And I can also give the uh, border color, make it black return so now my box appears. Next I want to change how the uh, labels appear. The first name for example here I'll change in my code I'll find the label tag add a new selector. Here's our label. Except that I'm going to change the font weight to bold. I will also ask Dreamweaver to float it to the left to the left and I will give this a width of 130 pixels by giving it a uniform width the boxes to the right will be aligned I'll see what this looks like on the page Re 
reload and here is our basic form completed. Type in some names. Type in Joe Low. My email and my comments. And click on submit. And rather than having this be a text box, here where the type says text, I will change this to email. Keep the rest of the settings. Click on put again. Say yes to all. Check out the page. I'll reload. Put in some information. Submit. And now I get an error message. Please include an at sign at the email address. Coming back to Dreamweaver, we could have just added an email box. We could have just clicked on the add sign and Dreamweaver would have added input type equals email from the start. I'll delete that since it's done. And that is pretty much it for the form.